It's grand. It's live. And there's only one place you can see it. Twice Charmed, an original twist on the Cinderella story, is a Broadway-style musical created especially for Disney Cruise Line, where you'll find elegance and entertainment blending seamlessly on the open seas of the Caribbean. One of the aspects of cruising that's very important is elegance. And people might think that there's not elegance at Disney, but in fact, our ships are built around that. And they're built with everyone in mind. Kids are going to have a great time. We take great care of the teens. And for the adults, we have space dedicated for them as well. When it comes to activities, you'll never run out of things to do or see. From nighttime fireworks to poolside movies and wild deck parties. But of course, the most important thing for Disney, as we are renowned for, are Broadway production shows. When she ran from the ball, she gave no reason why, so I searched all the land. But Twice Charm is a live rendition of the story of Cinderella and Prince Charming that begins where Cinderella ended. Cinderella is a wonderful story. It's loved by millions. And we thought it would be a great idea to take it and make it contemporary. So we had to remain true to the original film and at the same time offer some new twists and surprises for audiences today. Twists and surprises that force Cinderella to confront a new batch of evil and get the prince to fall in love with her all over again. But this time with no glass slippers or magic to help her. We got to play with brand new moments that we didn't see in the first Cinderella film. Brand new moments and a brand new character. There's a whole new character in Twice Charms that you don't see in Cinderella 3, and this is Franco de Fortunato, Lady Tremaine's wicked fairy godfather. You don't know your own wicked fairy godfather? Wicked! He's not so much wicked as he is more mischievous, but it was a great opportunity to create a new classic Disney villain who's suave and debonair and really sets the story into motion. As for Cinderella, without the magic or slippers, there's no one but herself to turn to for help. One of the big moments in the show is when Cinderella bursts into the castle, interrupts the ball, and sings a power ballad called Believe in Me. And she doesn't have the glass slippers or the gown, and she's standing there before the prince and the kingdom, and nobody believes she was the girl at the ball. And she comes to learn in that moment that she never needed any of those things. She just needed to believe in who she was inside. Such an extraordinary show, along with two additional shows and all in one theater, took an enormous effort by Disney Entertainment. You have no idea what a huge undertaking this was, putting a Broadway-style musical spectacular onto a ship at sea. From costumes to choreography to set design, the attention to detail and level of professionalism in Twice Charm is exemplary. The costumes in this show are extraordinary. They glitter, they transform right before our very eyes, and they really convey the magic that is so much at the heart of the story. The scenic design of the show really captures the enchantment of the original 1950 film. And the combination of the original animation, new animated videos, and live set pieces is really like nothing you've ever seen before. Bringing the special effects from an animated film to a stage filled with actors is not without its share of technical and visual challenges. An interesting challenge that we had was figuring out how to incorporate the mice into the story. Of course, in the film, you're able to have human-sized Cinderella and the little mice, but on stage, you're not going to be able to see the mice. So how do you shrink somebody on stage? Well, it begins with using projections and scenic to create the world of magic happening right before our very eyes. Hooking Cinderella up with her little friends wasn't the only ingenious use of scenics and special effects. A scene that was especially challenging for us was turning a black and white ballroom into full color in front of our audience. Incredible effects, music, story, and performances combined to create a one-of-a-kind experience and only for guests aboard the Disney Magic. What Disney Cruise Line is all about is creating memories that last a lifetime. 
Our shows provide an avenue for tens of millions of kids to see Broadway caliber entertainment that otherwise they might never be able to see. It is amazing, really. Every week, a spectacular cast, an army of technicians all come together and put on this show that delights thousands of guests. And some might say it's all because of a shoe. All because of a shoe. All because of a shoe. All because of a shoe.